Hi, I am Luke Ring, and I am a 20-year-old filmmaker, and this vlog series of vlogging what my life as a filmmaker is is just going to be showing what my life in the industry creating narrative films. This is vlog one, and this is showcasing and talking about um, my first film I ever made. I made this film with my dad. Um, well, he wrote the film. I produced the film and shot it, edited, directed, basically filled every other role I could besides acting. Um, the other two people that you'll see in this video besides my dad, who also plays a role in this, um, I grew up working with my dad a lot in other films and he's a filmmaker this story he wrote a couple months before we even filmed it um but it was really fun there was a lot to learn from this we shot this on a canon 5d mark iii with a sigma 35 millimeter lens um that road mic that you see there was just in case i was going to capture audio um this camera doesn't shoot raw so everything that you see as the outcome when this film is out or if you've seen this film is basically just what the camera is giving me with a orange and blue LUT, which I know you're not supposed to do. The first day we created this weird budget dolly system and this was not the right way to go. We also tried shooting in the morning to replicate night to try to save time and it does look really solid here and I actually really love the way the 5D Mark III captures light, but it just wasn't what we were looking for. Now what is the story of Stu? So Stu tells the story of these two friends that get lost in the woods. It's a mystery short film, and I'm not going to dive a ton into it because this is about making the film, not necessarily what the idea of the film is about. If you're interested in seeing this film, um, I will link it below. But it tells the story of Stu. Stu is about to graduate college, and he is feeling very rebellious, and he feels like, you know what, this is my time to step out of my comfort zone and leave and go out with my friend and go camping. Race played the main actor, and Race is one of my good friends, and he does an awesome job here. He did an awesome job preparing for the script, and this was a very grueling film process. I think we filmed for um, six hours straight, and I Race is actually sick throughout the entirety of this, which you can't notice because he's so awesome, but <laughs> he didn't tell me until that after, which I felt horrible about, but it was a lot of fun. This is the second day that you're seeing now. We really only did a slight pre-production before, um, and we're just shooting some interior scenes now. Uh, you're sharpening the edge. You're supposed to go at a 30 degree angle. You like that? Nice slide detail. If you're noticing, I am shooting this on a monopod as well which this was not a good idea to shoot this on a monopod the entire time. Uh, eventually, we did go with like a flimsy other tripod. Um, the monopod was fine. I mean, it allowed me to do some really nice pans at the beginning. Um, but this was before I ever owned a gimbal. And I didn't know what it was really like to move the camera. I didn't know. Um, and at this time, now, I this is a year ago. So I didn't know what... Um, I was really doing making a film. Um, this is really short, but I hope you can get some insight from this. The biggest thing that we learned from this um, is making sure that our stuff is scheduled and our gear was horrible, our mics were horrible, but we had an awesome time. And just making your first film, that's all that matters. And we made our first film. You can't really ask for more than that. So as we kind of wrap up this first video, um, I'm just going to be playing some behind the scenes photos along with frames from the movie while I talk about pros, cons, what we learned, etc., budget. Um, so this is the first vlog in the series, and this was a year ago. Um, the film's out now. It won, I believe, one festival, very small. It was like an online. It was like one of those dinky online festivals that you can't really count as a festival. Actually. But making the film is what was really important. Um, I actually love how this film looks. I think visually it is really, really good looking. Um, I almost feel like it... I mean, it doesn't feel like a folio film. It does feel like videography, which is fine. Um, and I usually got out of it, but it is an orange and teal LUT, which if you've ever heard, don't use that. That's just coming from people that probably are giving you good advice. You probably shouldn't use that LUT, but I did, and I was actually really happy with how it turned out um and it does it's just about creating the look of the film that you want um the characters and this actual story my ability to tell a story 
uh, for this movie. I believe now I'm a much better storyteller. Um, and if you're coming from Suka Vision, this is when we were Suka Productions. This used to be when I was under the name of where I post my work, which is Suka Productions, but now it's Suka Vision. So there's a lot of things with the company, not this fight. That's actually one of my favorite shots that I just is on screen now. The marshmallow is so crisp. Um, the mics were really bad. We actually got um, long story, but at some point I'd love to dive into it. Um, maybe in a separate vlog or a separate story is got to get this film critiqued by someone who's already a really established filmmaker. He actually happened to win an Oscar. Um, he's a friend of mine. His name's Sam Davis. He's under the name Sam A. Davis, if you're looking him up, because there's a lot of Sam Davises out there. Um, he's an awesome cinematographer. He has won one Oscar um, for one of his films. And he actually looked at this film and gave me a breakdown, um, minute to minute, second to second. I don't know. That doesn't really sound right. But he actually gave me a full breakdown of the pros and cons. And he taught me something that I've taken away. And I'm so glad that I reached out. We, it's a long story, like I told you, of how we met. But that I actually reached out. And that's because he taught me about the setup and payoff. The art of storytelling with the setup and payoff basically is the simple hey, if you place a red, if you're going to have a big point, and in this film, let's just say you've hope maybe watched this film, and if not, you can go back. You can go back and you can look at the film, or you can come back to this video and you'll know what I'm talking about, or you can go to the film, however you want to do it, is the setup and payoff of you see that Stu and Kevin, which that's Sam's character, they get lost in the woods, and Stu's shoe is sitting there. And you don't know, or Ke sorry, Kevin's shoe is sitting there. Stu's looking for him in the woods and he shines his flashlight and he notices Kevin's shoe. Oh no, Kevin's lost because in the forest they get lost. Again, this is not a complex short film at all or a complex story. Um, but it was huge because of the setup payoff. And what he's saying is, I know I'm rambling here, is we should have seen Kevin's shoe earlier on. There should have been a close up. There should have been something that showed us that this is Kevin's shoe. So therefore setting, it's so simple, so simple, but going in and not, and once he said that, I felt like an idiot. I was like, oh my gosh, I just embarrassed myself in front of someone that's been to the Oscars. That's won an Oscar. I'm like, my film career is obviously not. That's why you learn. Um, and that's actually something as a filmmaker, I'm thinking about either offering back to the community, not saying I'm going to obviously not haven't won an Oscar. That's obviously the goal. I would love to win an Oscar or any award, um, I have won awards, I'm saying bigger, like those huge awards, um, but of offering other filmmakers, if you guys have films, if you have scripts, I'd love to take a look. Um, I, you can connect with me on Instagram, you can leave a comment, um, dropping your email, and I'll shoot you an email, or I'm not probably going to drop my email yet because I want to have a business email for these things set up, but I'd love to check out your work and give you feedback because that's something I was lended a hand that really helped me and almost saved this film. Uh, as you see race running in slow motion here to get him worked up. I told race, you need to run around. <laughs> and this is my direct direction at this point of my first film. I've said race, you should run around. So you're out of breath. It worked. Got the job done. First film complete. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was really quick. It was really fast. Just wanted to get the ball rolling new episodes or vlogs coming soon. Make sure to subscribe for more filmmaking content have a great day.